Okay, so if you have read and understood, considering it critical care scenario, kindly tell me how would you manage this patient? I will manage according to the CRISPR call using ABCD approach. I will consider monitoring this patient in HDU and good cardiac monitoring. Yes. I will stop any IV fluid containing potassium, such as Hartman solution. Also, I will consider a gift 10 ml of calcium glucinate 10% in 10 minutes. Also, I, I can give insulin 5 to 10 units in 50 ml of D50 over 30 minutes. Okay. And also, patient, this, uh, this patient has high creatinine level and hyperkalemia. Uh, patient might need hemodialysis. And also, we can give calcium rhizonium. Okay. Can you mention, of, uh, please? Uh, or... yes. Can you mention few few conditions or few indications of di uh, dialysis? Uh, one will be metabolic acidosis, pH seven point two or less, and pulmonary edema. And hypokalemia, you want to... and the hypercalcemia as well. All right. Yes. Can you uh, interpret and tell me this patient's labs? Patient has hyperkalemia, hyponatremia, and uh, high creatinine levels. Can you tell me what are your provisional diagnoses for this patient? This patient is most likely have AKI, acute kidney injury. Yes. What might be the reason behind it? You know, uh, uh, it has difficulty of maturation. This is most like have post renal cause, most like has obstructive urethra. Yes, this is what I wanted to hear. Other than this, in general, what are the causes of acute renal failure in patients? It patient? can be renal pre renal causes such as sepsis and dehydration and burn, and also hypovolemia. Okay. And, uh, cardiac arrhythmia, and also can be renal causes such as vascular nephritis and glomerular nephritis and acute tubular necrosis, both renal costs such as this patient, obstructive uropathy. Okay. Can you tell me, uh, like you said, uh, this patient can be advised dialysis. So what are the ethical considerations that you'll keep in your mind before deciding for dialysis? Sorry, can you say that again? Uh, if you ask this patient to be put on uh, dialysis, what are the ethical considerations that you'll keep in your mind? Uh, yes, uh, this patient, uh, he has dementia. So I dementia, would proceed yes. for the best patient interests. Yes. With two uh, consultant signatures and also providing one of the, his uh, family. Uh, you know, uh, normally the patients uh, with uremia, they present with anemia as well. Can you explain why? Because there is deficiency of erythropoietin uh, and also yes. there is uh, increase the fragility of RPCs due to uh, uremic toxin and also there will be bone marrow fibrosis due to osteitis fibrosis cystica. Yes. And also the circulating bone marrow uremic toxins. Okay. Uh, this patient uh, was complaining of a difficulty of maturation. You, as part of your management, you inserted catheter and patient passed a lot of urine. Why? What has happened? 
all of a sudden. Uh, most likely the obstruction has been relieved. Yes. It's called the diuretic phase of AKI, yes. so that uh, obstruction can be relieved and AKI corrected. Okay, and now patient is passing a lot of urine, right? So, uh, yes, yeah. this hyperkalemia can be can be a cause or uh, of an emergency for this patient. Why? What are the adverse effects of hyperkalemia? Sorry, I didn't hear you. What are the adverse effects of hyperkalemia? What can uh, hyperkalemia cause? Yes, uh, this is called cardiac arrhythmia. It's called cardiac arrhythmia and muscle yes. cramps and muscle weakness. Yes. And, and uh, what are the normal functions of potassium in the body? If you can tell me very simply. Yes, it, this is caused nerve cell conduction and muscle contraction, and also this uh, aids enzymatic digestion, and also regulates the acid base balance. Yes. So and also can you the cardiac function? Yes. Uh, can you name few conditions when patient presents with hypokalemia, low potassium levels? What can happen then? In hypokalemia, just as diarrhea and vomiting, and yes. also paralytic areas. Uh, yes. Causes of hypokalemia, just and diarrhea and vomiting and yes, fistula. Yes. 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 So and also some ECG, diseases just as Crohn disease and Cushing syndrome. If you ECG, how would the ECG be of a patient with hypokalemia? There will be. So it'll be inverted T wave and U wave. Yes. And also white QRS. Okay, increased PR interval as well. Okay, can you tell me uh, what are, okay, this, uh, how much potassium is needed in our diet every day? As according to Eastern countries, 2200 millimole. Daily. Okay, can you tell me uh, why is it important to know about the effects of potassium, cardiac effects of potassium for a patient who would be operated? Uh, this, it can use cardiopulic solutions to induce yes. cardiac, uh, in, to induce cardiac arrest in their story. Yes. So, cardiopulmonary bus can be done. Okay, if this patient with acute uh, renal injury is not managed adequately, so what are the complications that can occur? This will lead to renal failure. Yes. And pulmonary edema. And the acute tubular necrosis and pulmonary edema. Okay, can you tell me how kidneys take part in acid-base balance? What role okay. do they play? Uh, renal normally excrete potassium and hydrogen in, uh, in, in the, uh, the cell membrane in the reciprocal change. And also in the renal tubular blood flow, this is will increase potassium secretion. So it is regulated as base balance. Okay. How the tubular fluid flow? rate is regulated? Uh, when it is increased, induced potassium excretion. Okay. Uh, right. Can you tell me about retroportin? This is poetin this is uh, produced in the kidney, yes. in the arena tubules. Yes. So this is uh, responsible for RBC's production.
Okay. Right. Thank you. Thank you.